Hello friends. Today we will discuss creep of rails. Creep is the longitudinal movement of the rail with respect to sleepers. The rails have a tendency to move gradually in the direction of dominant traffic. And creep is common to all railway tracks, but its magnitude varies considerably from place to place. In some cases, it may be just few millimeters or even negligible, but at other places, it may be as high as several centimeters in a month. The creep in the field is indicated by opening or closing of the joints. The expansion gaps are open to their limits at a point from where the creep starts and in the direction of the creep, they get disclosed. So these are the indications of creep or sometimes by mark on the rail flange and rail web made by the spikes. As you know, the rail is fitted on the sleeper with the number of spikes. When the rail slides on the sleepers, then these spikes made some scratches or mark on the rail flange or on the web. And these are the indications of movement of the rail or creep in the rail. Various theories have been put forward to explain the phenomena of creep and its causes, but none of them really gives the true picture. The important among them is the wave action theory or wave motion theory. What this theory says that creep in the rail is due to wave motion which is set up in the track because of moving load. So what happens when the wheel moves on the rail? It deflects the rail in downward direction. And because of this deflection, a reverse curve is formed in the rail. The portion which is below the wheel is deflected down and the portion which is ahead of the wheel is lifted. And that is called the lift. As the wheels of the moving train move in the forward direction, the depression also move with them and the previously depressed portion springs back to the original level. The wave motion tends to move the rail in the forward direction. The wheels push the wave down with a tendency to force the rail in the direction of traffic. And the continuous ironing effect of the moving wheel on the wave formed in the rail makes the rail to move longitudinally in the direction of traffic causing the creep. Now this depends upon the pitch or the lift here. And this pitch and depth of the wave, it depends upon the track modulus, stiffness of the rail section and stability of the formation. And therefore, according to this theory, the creep in rails can be reduced or minimized by use of angular and heavy stone ballast, heavier rail section and lesser spacing between the sleepers. All these three measures will improve the track modulus and higher the track modulus, lesser will be the deflection in the rail. The second theory is percussion theory. This theory says that creep is developed due to the impact of wheels at the rail ahead of joint. So when the wheel comes on this rail, it this rail gets deflected and there is a level difference between these two rails. And when the wheel jumps from this rail to this rail, then it will strike at this edge of the forward rail. So that is the situation. When the wheel jumps from this rail to this rail over the gap, then it will strike at this corner. And therefore, this force of a strike is at some angle. And the vertical component of this force tries to better the rail end down and the forward component of this force tries to push the rail in the forward direction and that is the reason of creep due to percussion theory. And therefore, according to this theory, the creep is encouraged by loose fish plates, worn out fish plate, loose packing of ballast, wide expansion gap, heavy axle load and high speed. All these factors will basically create more deflection in the track or in the rail and more the deflection more with a striking force and therefore you can reduce the creep according to this theory by proper maintenance of the track then third is drag theory there are two types of wheels in a train 
driving wheels of the engine and wheels of the rolling stock now driving wheels of the engine they have the tendency to push the rail backward because they are applying the thrust on the track while the other row other wheels of the locomotive and the rolling stock they simply roll on the track and therefore driving wheels try to push the rail back but rolling wheels all other wheels they try to push the rail in the forward direction as per wave action theory and because their number is very large as compared to driving wheels the movement of the rail or the creep in the rail is in the forward direction that is the drag theory and there can be several causes which can create condition for rails to creep the main causes are the ironing effect of the wheel as i explained to you in the wave action theory the ironing effect of moving wheel on the waves formed in the rail tends to cause the rail to move in the direction of the traffic and that results in creep of rails then grade of the track the creep is more with the steep gradient particularly if trains move downward with heavy axle loads though it can develop in the opposite direction also second starting and stopping operations when a train is starting or accelerating the backward thrust on the locomotive wheels tend to push the rail backward similarly when the train is slowing down or coming to a stop the braking effect of the locomotive tends to push the rail forward and this in turn causes creep in one direction or the other direction or in the both directions of the traffic change in temperature the creep can also develop due to variation in the temperature resulting in expansion and contraction of the rail the creep is very fast during hot weather alignment of the track the creep is greater on horizontal curves than on tangent tracks unbalanced traffic in a double line section the trains move in one direction that is unidirection on each track creep therefore gets developed in the direction of traffic in the single line section though the traffic moves in both directions there is normally variation in the volume of traffic in each direction the creep is developed in the direction of predominant traffic and there are some maintenance issues also which can also encourage the creep like rails not properly secured to sleepers the inadequate ballast section to resist the movement of the sleepers improper expansion gap badly maintained rail joints worn out rail seat in the case of metal sleeper track and rails being too light for the traffic carried on them effects of creep effects of creep are many and they are very serious too the first is the sleepers move out of their square now this force which is exerted by a moving rail is so large sometimes that the sleeper if they are not properly embedded in the ballast they also move out of their position and that will affect the gauge and alignment of the track which finally results in bad riding or sometimes even it can create the condition for derail of the train number 2 is gaps get disturbed the expansion gaps get open to their limit at a point from where the creep starts and in some position in the direction of the creep they are closed completely so that there is no expansion possible of the rail due to change in temperature and that can result in the buckling of the track also points and crossings get distorted due to creep it is it becomes difficult to maintain the correct gauge and alignment of the track at points and crossing the interlocking mechanism of the points and crossing also get disturbed due to creep the switches are difficult to operate and that makes the the operation very difficult and in some cases even buckling of track is also possible if the creep is very excessive and there is negligence in the maintenance of the track the possibility of buckling of the track cannot be ruled out the next is measurement of creep 
and creep in field is measured using a simple device called creep indicator. Now this is done with the help of two creep posts. Now these are generally rail pieces and they are driven at one kilometer interval on either side of the track and for simplicity their rail their top level is generally in level of the rail for the purpose of easy measurement a fishing string is stretched between these two rail posts and this basically passes below the rail seat a chisel mark is made on the rail flange at the point where this string touches the rail flange and once the creep has occurred the rail has moved from its position then the creep is the distance between this thread or this fishing string and this mark which is made on the rail flange bottom flange of the rail so there is a plan this is the rail post a string is stretched and a mark is made here so after movement of the rail the mark moves to this position and then that is the amount of the creep now what indian railways standards suggest that creep indicator should be placed every 1 km and maximum permissible limit for a creep is 150 mm it should be measured at an interval of 3 months and proper record should be maintained by the pwi that is permanent way inspector and not more than 6 consecutive rails should be found jammed in a single rail track at one location and there should be no creep in approaches to points and crossings now what are the remedial measures the first is pulling back the rails if the creep is distinctly visible the remedy is to pull back the rails and for doing this first inspect the track note the extent of pulling back and determine the point from which to begin now start pulling the rails back to their original position by means of crowbars and hooks provided through the fish bolt holes of the rail it can be done manually or it can also be done hydraulically now hydraulic rail pulling and pushing devices are also available nowadays they can apply a force of 60 to 80 kN in both compression as well as in tension important point is that when you pull back the rails the position of joints relative to sleepers must be maintained and both the rail joints must be in their relative positions now pulling back the rails is a very slow and tedious process is only possible when a small length of the track is to be dealt it has been observed that rails start creeping immediately after pulling back the second is provision of anti creepers so rather than pulling back the rail after the creep has occurred let us take some measure which can prevent occurrence of the creep and anti creepers in different shapes and designs are available which can be fitted to the rail and they resist the movement of the rail or can say creep in the rail these are different types of anti creepers which are available and they are fixed either through wedge action or through spring action they are fitted on the side of the rail and they remain in the absolute contact with the sleeper that is the position of the anchor and they basically resist the movement of the rail in this direction that is how they look like in the field these can be on either side of sleepers if the creep is in both directions or it can be on one side only in the direction of the creep important points which should be kept in mind while fixing these creepers or anti creepers that the creep anchor should be strong to resist the movement of the rail they should butt against the sleepers otherwise they will not function creep anchor should be uniformly distributed over the rail length and these anchors should be fixed to sound sleepers the practice on indian railways is to use four anchors per rail if the creep is 7.5 cm 15 cm in a month or six anchors per rail if it is more than 15 cm in a month the third is use of steel sleepers now sleepers in the track should be such that they do not allow rails to creep on them they prevent the rail from creeping on them 
and also the sleeper must have a good grip with the ballast to resist the movement of the sleepers in the ballast steel trough sleepers are found to be the best for this purpose because of their shape and because of their design and increasing the number of sleepers can also reduce the amount of creep because idea is to provide more resistance to movement of the sleeper so more number of sleepers more be resistance offered by this by the sleepers to the movement of the rail so friends thank you very much for watching this video you can write your suggestions comment in the comment box